guys, Bleanders here, and over three weeks ago on Sunday was the 63rd running of the Daytona 500. So in this year's race, Alex Bowman, who was supposed to start second, started on the pole. Since his teammate William Byron, who was supposed to start on the pole, got caught up in a wreck in his dual race, which forced him to a backup car and made him have to start at the rear of the field, with Kevin Harvick, who was supposed to start eighth, starting alongside him in second. Since the lineup got moved around, round from William Barn being sent to the rear, and Bubba Wallace, who was supposed to start six, failed pre-race inspection, so he got sent to the rear as well. And after Alex Bowman started on the pole, he went on to lead the first lap of the race, and then Kevin Harvick was able to get around him on the inside for the lead. Then on lap four, the caution came out for Derek Cope, who blew a tire and went up into the outside wall. Then on the restart, Kevin Harvick continued to lead until Ryan Newman was able to take the lead from him over in turn 3 and went on to lead. Then on lap 14, the caution came out after a big crash happened towards the front of the field going into turn 3. That happened when Christopher Bell got into the back of Eric Almirola in a bump draft, and Almirola got turned across the track into Alex Bowman and ended up collecting a lot of other drivers in the crash as well. Then not long after the crash happened, the red flag came out for lightning in the area, and then not long after that it started raining, so the race ended up going into an extended rain delay. And after nearly a 6 hour rain delay, the race was finally able to get back underway again around 10pm eastern time, and since it was such a lengthy delay, most of the field ended up needing to come down to pit road to refuel, which after pit stops, that then put Austin Dillon out front for the restart, and after the restart, he continued to hold the lead. Then on lap 32, Denny Hamlin was able to get to the outside of Dillon and pass him for the lead. Then on lap 38, the caution came out for Quinn Half, who lost a tire and ended up collecting Chase Briscoe as well. Then on the restart, Denny Hamlin continued to lead and was able to block the cars behind him to go on to win Stage 1. Then in Stage 2, Hamlin restarted out front and continued to lead until Austin Sendrick was able to nose ahead of Hamlin for the lead for a quick second, but Hamlin was able to pull back ahead of him and continued to lead until Hamlin's teammate Christopher Bell was able to get a run on him and pass him for the lead. Then on lap 110, after all the green flag pit stops cycled through, Denny Hamlin was able to cycle his way back to the lead again. Then on the next lap, the caution came out for Christopher Bell, who cut a left rear tire and spun and collected Ricky Stenhouse Jr., who then clipped Kyle Larson. Then on the restart, Denny Hamlin restarted out front and continued to lead, until Kevin Harvick made it three wide going into turn one between Hamlin and Logano to take the race lead. Then on lap 119, Denny Hamlin was able to get a push from Bubba Wallace to help get him back to the race lead and take the lead away from Harvick. Then on the final lap of the stage, Bubba Wallace was able to take the lead away from Hamlin and went on to lead until coming off turn 4, Hamlin was able to get a push from Kevin Harvick to get back around Bubba to go on to win stage 2. So then in the third and final stage, after the pit stop between stages, Austin Dillon restarted out front and went on to lead until Hamlin was able to take the lead away from him going into turn 3. Then with 26 laps to go after the green flag pit stop cycled through, Joey Logano was able to take the race lead and went on to lead until on the final lap, Michael McDowell gave a push to Joey's teammate Brad Kozlowski and tried to look for the lead, but Joey went to block and they both ended up crashing and collecting multiple other cars as well. And since Michael McDowell was able to get by the crash and was in the lead at the time the caution came out, he went on to win this year's Daytona 500 and pick up his first ever Cup Series win. So congrats to Michael McDowell on winning this year's Daytona 500. Alright guys, that's gonna trip for this video. If you guys did end up watching this year's Daytona 500 over three weeks ago on Sunday, be sure to put down in the comments below where your favorite driver or drivers ended up finishing. For me, Chase Elliott ended up finishing second after staying out of trouble all race long and avoiding all the crashes, and unfortunately wasn't able to take the lead before the caution came out on the final lap. And then my other favorite driver, Jimmy McMurray, ended up finishing eighth after only suffering minor front end damage from the big crash that happened back on lap 14 just before the long 6 hour rain delay. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video, or later.